Hello friends, welcome back to Dr. Jagdish Academy. Today I will discuss the management of sciatica pain using the homeopathic medicines. So first of all I will discuss what is a sciatica pain and then I will discuss what are the homeopathic medicines that we can use. So let's start. So first of all coming down to the sciatica. So if we see the human being there are sciatic nerves in the human beings in, the, in this region that means starting from the hip region going towards the foot in both the legs okay so what happens is that due to some reasons there this sciatic there is an inflammation in this sciatic nerve sometimes it is damaged sometimes inflammation is there uh, by some reasons so because of that things you can say there is a intense pain in this region in this whole leg okay and this pain is so much severe that uh, this is almost you can say a non tolerable pain and very important thing is that if you take normal analgesics like you take paracetamol you take nimoslide okay aspirin like medicines this kind of the pain is not relieved because this pain is just not because of the tissue injury but this damage this pain is basically a nerve pain which is also called as neuralgia neuropathic pain so when it affects the sciatic nerve okay then we use a word sciatica so sciatica is a type of a nerve pain or you can say it is a neuropathic pain so in this condition posture is an important thing okay because sometimes it can happen if the person is a prolonged sitting prolonged sitting is one of the factor for the sciatica sciatica so regular exercise is an important thing to avoid the sciatica pain but coming down to the homeopathic medicines so the first medicine that i want to discuss with you is this very very important medicine zinc phosphoricum so actually this zinc uh, is actually a nerve remedy it is required for the nerves so when this zinc and the phosphorus that is a combination of this form for formulation that is zinc phosphoricum if it is given it is an excellent remedy for the nerves nerve pains particularly in the sciatica so this pain is a tearing pain intolerable pain very very effective and sometimes you can see this pain starts from the hip joint and moves in a downward direction towards the either to the thigh to the knee region or to the foot region so the dose is you can use either the 30 c or 200 c two to three times a day or one to two times a day so again i'm saying it a very very good remedy zinc phosphoricum second remedy colosynthesis very very important medicine and sometimes it is considered as a drug of choice in many types of the sciatica but it is very effective if this sciatica pain is located to the left side of the body so very effective in the left side sciatica and and second very important thing so colosynthesis is indicated if the pain is relieved by hard pressure so if you apply a hard pressure on the leg sometimes pain is relieved but not by light, light pressure i'm not saying but touch but hard pressure and second bending double so person tend to double because there's a lot of pain so when he decides to double it okay then the pain is relieved somewhat extent not totally little relief and the third thing heat warmness so these three things if they relieve and it is to the left side of sciatica colosynthesis is a very effective medicine so doses again you can use either the 30 c or the 200 c third medicine gnaphilium a very important medicine very useful in the sciatica pain particularly gnaphilium is effective when there is a pain and there is a numbness numbness means jaise hum kehte sun ho jana okay so pain along with numbness is a very strong feature for the gnaphilium and another very important thing pain is worse on the first movement okay when he tries to move it so first movement it it produces lot of pain so these are the typical symptoms of the gnaphilium dose is either 30 c or 200 c then another very important medicine magnesium phosphoricum commonly it is called as magfos 
it is particularly indicated if sciatica is located to the right side of the body that is to the right leg and there is a lot of pain is there pain the, obviously is there but along with pain there is a spasm there is a contraction there is a cramp okay so this is another strong feature of the magnesium phosphoricum and again the pain is relieved by the pressure hard pressure and by the heat so you can use the doses of 30 c or 200 c magnesium phosphoricum another very important remedy arsenic album now this pain is burning pain like something is heating heat burning lot this this is a characteristic feature of arsenic burning pain again the pain the, the, there is a burning but you see burning pain is relieved by the heat and another important thing there is a nightly aggravation that means pain is more intense during the night when person is on a bed in the night and a person is exhausted even with this slight effort this is again a very important indication exhaust ex person is exhausted with just a little effort and then anxiety so these are typical features of arsenic nightly aggravation exhaustion and anxiety so doses you can use 30 c or 200 c so now uh, i have mentioned you about four, five medicines so you can use depending you can, so you can see the symptoms and depending upon the symptoms uh, two drugs can be used if the person is in a mild to moderate cases okay so depending upon the cases you can combine any of the two drugs but you can add one more drug three drugs can be given if you think it is a very severe condition and try to give the medicines two or three medicines for two to three days or you can say three to four days is if the effect is not there then you can change the medicines. So I hope uh, this kind of the information will be useful to us. Thank you.